Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. are going to be doing a pipe review on the Calabash. Now, I do not know who makes this one. I don't see Maker's Mark anywhere on this pipe. As a lot of Calabash pipes have, they don't have Maker's Marks on them for whatever reason. Older ones anyway, but uh, this is an estate one I bought for about 75 bucks. That's about what you can get them for when they're used. Anywhere from like 50 to to $100 expect to pay. If you want to get them new, you're paying usually around $1 to $200, generally speaking. Also, depending on where you get it. Uh, they're not cheap pipes, but they're not ridiculously expensive either. And there's more expensive pipes out there, but yeah, they're they're more on the higher end side. Now, this review is just going to be generally about the Calabash pipe in general. This design, they'll have slightly different designs. Some of them might have less of a cant. Some of them are a little bit shorter. But it's this general design right here. Some of you, if you're not familiar with this, you may find this very goofy and weird looking. And it is. It is very goofy and weird looking. I happen to love the way it looks. That's the biggest reason I got this was mainly because of the looks, but. There is also a function behind these looks. So the idea of the Calabash, the whole premise of this pipe is that you will have the least wet type of smoke as you smoke it. That's the idea behind its design. So what I mean by that is usually when you smoke a pipe, there's not usually, there's always some kind of moisture in the tobacco, generally speaking. Oh, I guess maybe not always. Sometimes there's moisture in it. There should be some moisture in it. Otherwise your tobacco is a little too dry probably. But either way. Sometimes, when there is moisture in the tobacco that you're smoking in a regular pipe, eventually as you're smoking, occasionally that moisture, if it builds up a little too much, it might seep up into the stem and actually into your mouth. You want the smoke to go into your mouth, not the tobacco juice, or the liquid from the tobacco. It's awful. It tastes terrible. It's really bitter. It burns. It's, it's the worst thing in the world. The idea behind this pipe is that it prevents that from happening. And out of all the times I've smoked this, and I've smoked this pipe many, many times, I have yet to have any tobacco liquid go up into my mouth as I'm smoking it. And this doesn't take filters or anything either. Now if you have a pipe with a filter in it, that, that's also a way you can fix it. But this is a pipe that does not take filters. I don't know of any Calabash pipes that do, but it's unnecessary I feel because there's so much travel right here. Like if you were to bend this out, it'd be longer than most church wardens. But it's not a church warden pipe, it's a Calabash pipe. And I believe it's called a Calabash because it's made from Calabash wood, I think? Calabash tree? Don't quote me on that. I guess it's not briar, it's Calabash. But this piece right here, this is what they call a meerschaum calabash right here, is because the bowl right here is meerschaum. If you're not familiar with that, it's, it's a blank white color comes in, but because this is an estate pipe, it's been used, it has some discoloration there. So, yeah, that's um, the idea behind the pipe is not only for its, yeah, it's very unique looking, but you get a very dry smoke and you just taste the tobacco itself. And because of that reason, ever since I got this, I just cannot put it down. I have multiple pipes, I think I have nine total pipes right now. And if you have multiple pipes, the idea behind that is that you smoke one for every day, or each time you smoke, you rotate to the next pipe, and then you go back to the first one you started with once you smoke through all of them each day or whatever it was. The idea behind that is that you put the least amount of wear on any pipe individually. So instead of smoking one pipe seven times, you smoke each each one of your seven pipes one time. So that being said, if you smoked a pipe a whole bunch of times, it puts more wear on it, more moisture builds up into it, it builds more of a cake, you gotta clean it a little more. So when you have multiple pipes, you don't have to, you know, clean them as often if you smoke each one. But this pipe, I still, every time I fight myself, like, oh man, I should smoke another one of my pipes, but I just can't. I love this pipe so much. It's the best smoking pipe I've ever had. I've never smoked Calabash before until I recently got this one a couple of weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago, I think it was. I just, every time I want to smoke it, it, it's just absolutely amazing because I just taste the smoke. It's very flavorful. And, you know, pipes that accept filters are good too. You know, you don't get that moisture, but they do affect the flavor slightly. This is just the smoke. I have yet to have any liquid come up. I think eventually if it built up a lot, eventually it might just a little bit, but that's a lot of travel. And I do think the pipe looks beautiful. Have you ever seen the movie Inglorious Bastards? Uh, the main villain of the movie, Colonel Hans Landa, in the intro scene of the movie, this is the type of pipe he had. And believe it or not, that was my uh, inspiration to get the pipe. I loved the movie, and I saw that. I was like, man, that's a weird-looking pipe. It looks cool. I looked it up, and sure enough, it's a real pipe. A Calabash Meerschaum, it was called, and I picked one up a couple of months later. It was, it was hard for me to find a deal on them because they're all, they're all very expensive. But you go on eBay, there's a lot of people selling them currently. Uh, you know, all the time on bids and stuff, and it might be a little tricky to win, but you might score one for 70, 80 bucks. Sometimes certain ones that are a little more used, you can get them for 40 or 50, but expect to pay somewhere almost at $100 if you're going to get a used one. Again, otherwise, if it's new, you're going to pay maybe one to $200, so. But yeah, it's, it's worth it. I really love the pipe a lot. If you don't like the way it looks, you know, you may like the function behind it, but generally speaking, we go for pipes that we like um, the way they look. 
and if we like the way the pipe looks, then we're going to smoke it. Generally speaking, that's how it is. That's how I am anyway, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's really awesome. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what's going on right here, this looks like a huge bowl. This is not the bowl. This is just the, uh, well, actually, no, te technically, yes, this is the bowl, but the chamber itself is actually just like the, a size of a normal chamber. This is the chamber. The finger stops like right about here. So it's, you know, it's it's like about a normal size chamber you'd get for with most uh, tobacco pipes. The idea is this is a this is a separate piece right here. So if I were to take this off, just like that, you can see that's what's inside the pipe. So look at all that room. It's like a big old bottomless pit in there. Tobacco has plenty of room. The tobacco juice anyway has plenty of time to travel all the way up there. This fits right back on like that. So yeah, and it makes it very easy to clean too, because you basically just have to clean this piece. You can just take it off and scrub it with whatever you want. And I use rubbing alcohol, but you have to be very careful with it. Do not get on the finish, just try to get inside the chamber. Otherwise, you'll ruin your finish very quickly. But uh, yeah, the one on this one, most calabash pipes are the same. They're all going to be different depending on who makes it. Again, I, I have no idea who made this one. Who knows how old it is. I would assume mid-2000s maybe, but I could be completely wrong. I have no clue. It's a complete guess. Whoever was using it last, you can see, I don't know if the camera picks it up very well, but you can see a lighter uh, coloration right here because he was probably holding it like that. And it holds very, very comfortably too. So we're to hold it. Yeah. So anyway, goofy looking, but I think it's really cool looking. I don't think it's weird. I, I mean, I think it's weird, but I don't think it's stupid looking. I think it's cool. Some people won't like it. I understand. But again, there is a function behind these pipes. And they're my favorite to date so far. I have yet to find a pipe I enjoy smoking more than a Calabash. So if you're interested, definitely give it a shot. It'll be completely worth whatever you spend, you know, even if it's around 100 bucks or so. I, if you're really into smoking, if you smoke a lot, tobacco smoker, it's completely worth it. You will not regret it. I really, really love Calabash pipes. So anyway, that's it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the review.